All right. I'm going to uh, try something different today. I've never made this before, and if you are watching this, turn the oven on to full. If you're watching this, then it must mean it was successful. Because if this doesn't work, I'm just going to uh, just not going to bother recording. Not going to put this video up. So I'll just crack on with this. I'm going to make a flatbread pizza, and uh, I'm going to just crack on with it. And then I'll tell you once it's in the oven how I came to this, how I came to decide to do this. Uh, I'm going to use the last portion of the ratatouille that I cooked the other day. And the cheese. I'm going to make up a wee flatbread, and this is a, some some. Uh, this is something I do um, quite often. I might buy a. Um, I might buy a, uh, I'm going to add a small amount of bread flour left. I sometimes buy a, uh, like a wee tub of hummus and, um, and then I'll just come home and make a, make a flatbread and I'll just use this method that I'll show you here. Uh, all very straightforward. So I've got some self-raising flour. I don't know how much. I need to fill this pan up. I need to make a piece of flatbread that's going to fit in this pan. So I think that might not be quite enough. So I'll add a wee bit of plain flour. big but it's okay. I can maybe make a wee separate flatbread with it. So it's just either plain or self-raising flour and I want a pinch of salt. I want quite a lot of olive oil in there. Um, I want to flavour this <coughs> with flatbreads you can um you can flavour them any way you want. Uh, so you could use some spices <coughs> Oh excuse me You can use some spices like turmeric, garam masala, curry powder t uh, Tandoori spice is good um, I'm going to put some mixed herbs in at this time Because we've got the tomato and the uh, It's going to be the tomato pizza So just a wee bit of mixed herbs This is just a um, general mixed herbs that you buy. Maybe because we've got, we've got a bit of oregano, because we've got the tomato in us of the pizza topping, maybe put a wee bit of that in. Oregano. Uh, the mixed herbs is just, I think, is it? Yeah, it's just one of those Italian style mixed herbs. Uh, I want to stop. Use a fork. <coughs> that should be all right. Fairly generous glug of olive oil. Use that again, and a touch of water. A wee bit wet actually, but um, yeah, it feels nice and oily. I was, when I was thinking about this, I was thinking actually maybe you could use pastry, and this is actually almost like a pastry because there's so much uh, oil in that, so you can kind of see, I don't know if you can see the shininess of it. Uh, Wondering if this is actually big enough. Maybe it's not big enough. So you just need it like that a wee bit. Like that. My hands are really oily. So maybe if anything, put maybe a wee bit too much in. A wee touch of olive oil. Because my hands are covered in oil anyway. So I'm thinking about uh, 
getting too much oil. Um, I'm thinking about, um, yeah, this movie isn't actually big enough. Um, I'm actually going to put a bit more flour into that because it's uh, not quite enough flour. Um, I was thinking about, uh, what was I thinking about? Um, putting this onto a tray and baking it, but then I thought, well, why not put it onto a pan and uh, and then get it started cooking on the, on the on the hob and then put it into the oven. You could even just put it under the grill. I'm going to actually put quite a bit of flour onto this because I haven't made it quite big enough. So I'm going to just work the rest of this flour into it. Handfuls. See, I didn't. When it comes to things like flatbread, I don't tend to really measure anything. But um, as we wanted to fill that pan up, I maybe should have. Now when I do this, um, <clears throat> when I make this as just a normal flatbread, what I would do is just roll it out like this and I would normally just put it in straight into a dry pan and I don't have gas, well, it's only electricity obviously, and what I would do is put my blowtorch onto it, I have a, uh, have a blowtorch at the back there, and you just put it onto the dry pan with the heat on it and blowtorch the top and it kind of puffs up and it goes black and quite nice and then just turn it over and blow torch the other side and that's a flatbread so then I thought well why not use that as the base of a pizza because it's instant you know this only takes a few seconds to do it you don't have to prove it and all this you can see my rolling skills are not very good I just can never roll anything out in a in a nice circle or a nice rectangle. See, it's. Don't know how thick that would be. Pound coinish thickness, maybe. A wee hole in it, it doesn't matter. So we shall drop that. Maybe a wee touch bigger, actually, just so it goes up the sides a wee bit. Two mixture into it. Actually, we'll stick this in the heat now. And it should hopefully start kind of frying in the bottom, crisp the bottom up nicely, and then finish off nicely in the oven. So that's that ratatouille all used up. So we used it in three different ways. Had it in puff pastry. I could actually have used my puff pastry and just put the uh, that other piece of puff pastry I've got. I could have done that as well. I could have just put the tray, puff pastry, and put this on top and roasted it in the oven. Uh, but I don't always have puff pastry, so I can make a flatbread at any point. So that's why I thought I would try this. Try this method. Turn that down. And then this is the last of the uh, last of the mozzarella cheese. Just put some wee dot, dots of that around. And then I'm just going to leave that on the hob to just, just once I can hear it kind of sizzling and, and that, just let it let it heat up a bit. And then fire it in the oven. So there's lots of different ways to do pizza bases. So what I would normally do when it comes to doing bread, 
is I would bake my own bread from scratch. Now, I have um, I have um, been baking bread for quite a long time, and for an awfully long time, it's like for years. Since kind of Jamie Oliver started to first come out and start baking bread, I've been doing it since way back then, and it's never been right. And I've created, I've baked up so many, so many bricks that have been no good. And then what happened was, so what, what Jamie Oliver will do is he will take a piece of bread dough, he'll make up his bread dough. And he will start folding it. And he'll start folding it in this wee area here, and he'll be just going like that. He'll just be going like this, folding it. And you'll do that for 10 minutes, and you create this nice shiny ball. You push your finger into it, and it springs back, and that's it. Now the problem is, is that that's never worked for me. That. And then it puffs up, and then and then he uh, second proves it, and then bakes it, and it's great, right? That's never worked for me. I've never been able to kind of get that to work right. Then I was watching Fabulous Baker Brothers. Look at the steam coming out of that. And that uh, wee evil looking sinister wee baker guy, he sorted my... Uh, I'm going to turn that off now. Just get a bit of steam. I can smell it. I can smell it starting to catch a wee bit. So we shall pop that into the oven. So I've put my oven... This is, the, this is an oven, although it's my grill as well. It's an oven, and I've put it up to full whack, right up to the top, so I'll bang that in the oven. And I was watching the fabulous Baker Brothers, and what he was doing, what he said, there was two kind of key points. As he was kneading his bread, he said, once you think you're done, just keep kneading it a wee bit longer. And then when you think you're done, when the, after those few minutes, then knead it again for another few minutes. The point being, knead it for ages. So now when I do when I need my bread, I'll need it for like 40 minutes. So there's no 10 minutes. Even Paul Hollywood will say you need it for 10 minutes. No, it doesn't doesn't work. I need my bread for like 40 minutes. And another key point that the Baker Brother guy said uh, when he was baking. So Jimmy Oliver will be like baking like this, and he's just fold it all nice and neat. The Baker Brothers guy when he was kneading it, he kind of went like that and he stretched it his full arm length. So he's got this bit of dough and he's stretching it right out the foot, stretched his arm out full. And that that has sorted my bread dough out. Great. So I will make up a bread dough just exactly the same as normal. 500 grams of flour, sachet of yeast, a teaspoon and a bit of salt, some olive oil, maybe some sugar, 350 millilitres of water, tepid water. And then knead it, stretch it right out like that for 40 minutes. And you don't create a nice smooth ball that you push your finger in and it pops out. What you create is basically a piece of chewing gum. It just looks like chewing gum. It's this ugly lump. You push your finger into it and the end end remains. Pop that in a bowl, let it prove for a couple of hours. And it doubles in size and it looks great. Knock it back, shape it and you bake it. And it's great, it's perfect. I will do it one day and it makes a perfect loaf of bread, so that's great. So I've got that sorted out. Now, the problem with that is, is it obviously takes quite a lot of work. When I only want, a, when I only want one pizza, I've only got one portion of this. So that's too much work for one pizza. Now you can use that bread dough, and after it's, um, after it's proved, you can keep it in the fridge for a few days and you can cut it up into like four pieces and make four pizzas so that's great the problem with that dough is and the reason why i'm looking for a different bread dough is that it's so springy when i watched the guys in um, domino's pizza and they're making their pizza and i was asking them did they make their own bread dough but they don't they actually the Domino's pizza dough is made, I think is it in Slough or something like that, and it's distributed throughout the country, uh, throughout all the, the, the shops throughout the country. Maybe England, I don't know. Maybe just England, I don't know. But uh, the point is, is that they keep their dough refrigerated for a few days 
between it being made and it being distributed and then it being held and used in the in the different shops. So that gave me the idea of, that I can keep my bread dough in the, in the fridge. So that sorted that out. But when you watch the guys, they kind of get their lump of dough and they just go like that. They just kind of twist it, push their fingers and they stretch it and they're sort of stretching it. And then in about 10, ten seconds, they've got this disc and it's done. And then they put the, 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 uh, the tomato sauce and the toppings on it. The, pr the problem with my bread dough, when I do it for 40 minutes, it's so springy. When I roll it out, it can immediately just contracts. So when I want a pizza that kind of size, so that you can sort of see the outline there. If I want a pizza that kind of size, I have to roll my, my dough out to about this size. And it's all sticking to the work top. And then I have to undo it, I have to un uh, connect it from the work top, unstick it. And then it will contract right back in to this size. And it's so much work, I've really got to get the, the rolling pin into it. So it's, it's not working. So in terms of it being for bread, it's great. But for pizza dough, it, it tastes really nice. It's a really good texture, but it's just far too difficult to work and it's quite time consuming. So then last night I was looking into um, to, to bread, uh, to pizza doughs that don't involve any kneading. So a no knead pizza dough. And while I was looking into that, then I just thought, hold on a second, why not just, um, this is the benefits of an undermount sink. I, I put this sink in, I did, did the under, undermount sink, and it's handy because you can just hook everything in from the sides. Um, when I was looking into the no-need pizza dough, then I just thought, well, hold on a minute. It, it takes, you, you mix up exactly the same bread recipe. But you let it. You, you you don't you don't need it. You just put it in the fridge for like 24 hours or nine hours or something. And again, I knew I want it today. I don't want to. I don't want to have to do it today and make it have it tomorrow. You know, I want it. I want it now. So then I just then I just thought, well, why not do my flatbread and just see what happens. Just just try it because that's instant. That's really quick. And uh, it's always available. I don't have to do anything ahead of time. And. Uh, you know, it's not going to have obviously the same texture. It's, it's not going to be the same as a as a proper pizza, you know. But um, hey, if it's nice, the, the bread dough, the, the flat bread itself is quite nice. So um, we'll see. We shall see what happens. I mean, it's not going to be the same as a normal pizza, but uh, we'll see. But um, I'm going to. We're only supposed to put them in the oven for a minute or two. But uh, I'm going to give that a few minutes in the oven, so I'll get back to you when that's done in a couple of minutes time. Actually what I'll do is, is I'll look at the clock, hopefully you can see the clock, and then we can see the time. So I'll get back to you in a second. Alright, so I think I may have gone a wee touch overcooked because uh, the app disconnected from the phone, so I was faffing to try and get it connected. Oh, that steamed up a bit. Let's see what this looks like. <laughs> I think that looks pretty good, I think. I think we'll have that. Uh, a wee bit soft maybe, but um there you go. So um that looks really good. Oh, it's a nice quick, nice texture. <clears throat> so that's a um if we can zoom in on that. Try and get the angle right. There you go. That looks really, really good. That's toasted up a treat. I reckon that that's going to be, um, yeah, that's going to be lovely. See how, see how cutting into it works. Actually, let's use the old uh, pizza cutter. It's almost like pastry. It's um. <clears throat> it's so light and, and crumbly. It's going to get a wee bit messy here with these sides that are going up the way they're falling. They're, they're breaking a wee bit, but, um, but that's okay. Oh, that smells really, really good. It's going to be a job getting it onto the plate, but um, let's see if we can have a look at the base actually. Yeah, that looks really good. You can see that. Just trying to get the angle right off the camera. Oh, oh, wait. There you go. Look at the 
yes of that. That looks really nice. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, pleased with that. Now I have to just transfer that to my plate. That's going to be a mess, but um, I'll get back to you with a verdict. Um, so, yeah, in conclusion, that was really, really good. Uh, I think that's actually going to be my go-to method now for doing pizzas at home. Um, when you do a bread pizza, you, it's either an awful lot of kneading and uh, a lot of time, and then you've got four lots. So I've got to have four pizzas. Um, with a no-knead bread dough that I'm looking at, which I haven't tried, but um, it's you've got to do it a day or two in advance, um, and then you end up with four pizzas. This way, it's different. It's almost like pastry because there was so much oil in it. It was like uh, kind of like uh, 842, you know, your flour, butter, sugar. It was almost like flour shortening, um, and the oil was the shortening, and so it was actually almost like a pastry, but um, in a really good way, in a really sweet kind of. Um, uh, cr crispy, crumbly, light texture kind of way. So and I think that putting it on the heat like that, just 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 that way of doing it, putting it onto the heat first of all, then banging it in the oven, giving it a good giving it a good roast with that ratatouille topping is just yeah really really good. I'm pleased with that, and I'll be definitely doing that again. So I'd re recommend it. And yeah, and I'm only doing obviously one portion, so I'm only wanting one pizza. So that's just one portion of bread dough that's instantly not, you know, within a couple of minutes it's knocked up. And I only have one lot, so I don't have to have the same thing for the next couple of days. So uh, give it a try, it's really, really good.